this is pre-calculus and topic eight. We're just going to do a quick little example of finding all zeros, and I'm going to use synthetic division to do it. So I'm given this polynomial, and I need to find all the zeros of it. Um, so I could graph it first. I could uh, just think about factors of 153, things that multiply to 153. Uh, let's do that. Um, I'm just going to try some things. You know what? 3 goes into that. 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. That's divisible by 3. So this is divisible by 3. So let me see if 3 is a factor. So 3. So 1x to the 4th, negative 2x cubed, 8x squared is 18x's, and a negative 153. So remember when you do synthetic division, bring it down, multiply, and then I, then I add, and then I multiply, then I add, then I multiply. And then I add 8, 9, 10, 11, 51. Then I multiply, oh, look at that, 153. It worked. So in doing this with this 3, what I did was I factored out an x minus 3. And what's left now is a uh, 1x cubed plus 1x squared plus 11x plus 51. And now looking at 51, that has uh, some factors as well. 3 goes into it as well. So does negative 3. So 3, 3 and 17 and 1. And plus or minus versions of those are my possibilities. So I could try, try positive 3. But I noticed that if I try positive 3 uh, again with this, I'm never going to be subtracting. So I'm never going to get rid of 151 because these are all positive. So let me try negative 3. So bring it down, multiply, add, multiply, positive 6, right? Add 17. Oh, nice. 17 times negative 3 is negative 51. There's my 0. So what I did here is I had already factored out an x minus 3. Um, I'd already, that, was my, that was my first division that I did. Here I factored out an x plus 3. Remember when we do synthetic division, we use the 0 from the thing that we're dividing out. And now what's left is an x squared minus 2x plus 17. So I've got to deal with this thing, x squared minus 2x plus 17. And I'm not going to be able to factor that. I'm going to run it through a quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times 17, all over 2 times a. Sweet, I'll keep going. Negative negative 2 is a 2, divided by 2. Um, negative 2 squared is a 4. 4 times 17, let's see what that is. I'm just using my calculator off screen. 68 minus 68. All right, so that would be 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 64 over 2. Negative square root of 64 is 8i. And now these are both divided by that 2, so this gives me a uh, 1 plus or minus 4i. Great. So my zeros are 3, negative 3. And you could write it compactly as 1 plus or minus 4, but I'm going to write it out 1 plus 4i and 1 minus 4i. 